Hey there! How's it going? <laughs> oh, what a day! Wow! Crazy! Well, you know, I left. Well, I was at Briscoe, Arkansas last night on last night's swab. I said I was going to make it to the radio tonight. Well, that didn't happen. Um, I left Prescott this morning. I had time. I could have made it. I say 620, 630 miles. I could have done that 11 hours, no problem. I kind of kept on it. You have any backups or anything? Well, Friday, I think I hit a couple backups before I even got to Dallas on 30. That messed me up, put me behind a little bit. Then I got down to, uh, on 35, down there around Waco. Well, Waco wasn't too bad. I got down to Temple, Texas, and I think that's when it started. Hit back up after back up between there and Austin. Austin, it was backed up. I lost about an hour and a half going through Austin. Well, that opened up south to Austin. Got to, I don't know, 10 miles, 20 miles north of San Antonio. Yeah, I got in the back up. Right there were 35 and 410 come together. Uh, I lost an eye or something there. Made it through San Antonio all right. Well, no, I take that back. I got downtown San Antonio and it was backed up. I lost an eye sitting in that back up. Finally got down to uh, exit 127. And I had about an hour left. So I had to get some fuel. Topped off there, here, got some fuel and everything for the post trip. I had 45 minutes left to drive as well. I might as well just park here, get up early in the morning, and be down there about 6.30, 7 o'clock. You know, that'll work. But uh, they did open up my delivery time. It was up to till 23.59 tonight. Well, now I have till, I don't know, uh, see, they open it up from 0100 in the morning till 0600. Yeah. Oh, that's only hard to do. I can't leave here till 0430, and I'm 127 miles away. It'll take about two hours to get down there, an hour and 45 minutes. I'm not going to make this 06. No, I'll be there 0630, 07 in the morning. So I sent a message to Mike Dispatch, let them know I'm not going to be there right at 06. I might be, you know, about an hour late. That is if nothing happens. So they're, I don't know if they're going to just, uh, you know, open it up another hour so I can get there on time or have somebody stop in that's heading on down there they're gonna have to be there at a certain time maybe we can swap out and he can head on down there by you know six o'clock in the morning and I can just take his load on down and drop it around the yard or something or some place that's open receiving all day tomorrow who knows I don't know I haven't sent a message back they haven't sent anything back yet so uh, we'll see but it's 20, where I'm going is 24-7 drop and hook unless they have somebody waiting on the load there that's going to cross the border. Uh, I don't see what the big deal is. It's just probably going to sit there till later on tomorrow or later on Monday morning. Anyway, but you never know. You know I just drive it. I don't set up the delivery times and uh, logistics and all that other stuff. So, so I got a question for everybody out there. Since I was driving at 35 all the way down from yeah, you know, 200, 250 miles is just nothing but traffic. What are some of the other areas that you all run into that it's always just traffic all the, just about all the time, no matter what time of day or night. 
uh, type of traffic you run into. So that's what I'm asking everybody tonight. And everybody leave your answer down in the comment section. Got any more questions, uh, let me know or just comment, like, whatever. And I'm running late, so I'll talk to you all tomorrow night or whatever that might be. So everybody remember to stay safe.